On behalf of the Genesis Collective, Riverwise, and New Sun Rising, I welcome you to Beyond Rust. In 2020, people from Riverwise and New Sun Rising and other community um, activists and people, concerned citizens went to Louisiana um, and they wanted to observe what it looks like for a community to live among plants like the shell plant. And so Christopher Padgett, over here, uh, created a film called Boom and Bust. It was not just the story of that trip, it was also the story of Beaver County. Uh, New Sun Rising, Riverwise collected over a thousand pieces of data. It was your response to that film. Then we gave the data to artists, and the artists created what you see around you. When we were doing the interview, I thought everyone was going to be like, we don't want the shell plant, you know, and, and it's going to kill us. But it wasn't like that. I mean, it was like a lot of people were just happy to have job security and really not really focusing on the future. And so I'm just trying to let people be aware so they can have a choice. My name's Erin, and I did the photo series, and I really wanted to explore some of the complexities that surfaced in Boom and Bust and really find out how those who live closest to the plant, like right across the river in Vanport, um, felt about it and felt about their ability to influence the big decisions that shape our everyday lives. The news isn't all bad. And part of the hopeful news is that um, we all have the ability to talk to people. And what I found was that um, that's really worthwhile. But I hurt. My soil, my dirt is compromised. Pollution has saturated my clear blue skies, my plants replaced with chemical plants. So my poem was actually inspired by Moana. It's a dream, you know, that we could just put a jewel back and, and make things turn around so that we can reverse all of the damage that we've done. If we push to do things together and use our voices, even when it shakes, you know, that, that, that old cliche, we can make a change. I started off with a project where I wanted to interview Beaver County residents. It ended up at a project of trying to come up with ideas. Um, I found myself trying to solve Beaver County's issues. Of course I didn't do that, but I'm hoping that it at least sparks some ideas. It sparks some ideas in me, and I hope that this could just create a conversation that carries on about how to be proactive. And I think all in all, what I've learned is that we are a beautiful community filled with talent, filled with a lot of resilience, and we don't even see it. And so I encourage us to fight back and be proactive, to play defense, but also to play offense as well. I listen to the conversations and um, the, the strongest thing that I heard from the people was the love for their community and their families. I, I wanted to portray the why, why how important this is. These are our children, um, and we can never forget that. Otherwise, we lose uh, the most important, the heart of Beaver County. Um, and I just want to declare that over Be Beaver County, that everything in the river shall live, and that life may abound. I think at the core, art, when it resonates, kind of reflects something back to you, right? It holds a mirror up to you. The reflection in my artwork I'm not too thrilled. <laughs> Down in the valley, since the royal shell came in, our nights are lit with cracker fires burning on the wind. There's another line of, of keeping our eyes on the plant, right? Right now, that's probably the best thing we can do is just keep our eyes on, be vigilant, hold the environmental standards to account, right? That's the reality of it. The valley is our home. We can't let it go to waste We have to preserve and protect it For the next generation's sake